You may be seated for a moment. Step forward. A wedding is a celebration of a miracle of love. Kelly and Kurt, today in the presence of God, we celebrate this miracle in your lives. Here are some wonderful words that define the true meaning of love. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. Love is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. Love does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices with what's right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. <laughs> if you don't mind standing up one more moment, we're going to pray over these, this beautiful couple. And join us as we pray. Father, love has been your richest and greatest gift to the world through your Son, Jesus Christ. Love between a man and a woman which matures into marriage is one of your most beautiful types of love. Today, we celebrate this love. Lord, may your blessing be on this wedding service. Protect, guide, and bless Kelly and Kurt in their marriage. Surround them and us with your love now and always. And let us all say, Amen. 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 You may be seated. There's always a challenge becoming husband and wife. Learning to love each other and to live together in harmony is one of the greatest challenges of marriage. Marriage is not to be entered into lightly, and we are to hold it in high honor at all times. Kurt Poynter. Kelly Yannick, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love, trust, and loyalty are the foundation of a happy and enduring marriage. No vows are more sacred than those you're about to make. If these vows are kept unbroken and as you endeavor to do the will of your Heavenly Father, your lives together will be full of joy and love. I would say join hands, but you're already there. <laughs> As you look into each other's eyes, Kurt, I have a question for you. Do you take Kelly to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony, to love, honor, and cherish her, to keep her in sickness and in health for as long as you both shall live? I do. And Kelly, do you take Kurt to be your husband, to live together in holy matrimony, to love, honor, and cherish him, to keep him in sickness and in health for as long as you both shall live? I do. And now for some traditional vows. Kurt, please repeat after me. I, Kurt. I, Kurt. Take you, Kelly. Take you, Kelly. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. Now your turn, Kelly. Please repeat after me. I, Kelly. I, Kelly. Take you, Kurt. Take you, Kurt. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For rich, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. May I have a raise, please? <laughs> These rings are a symbol of eternity in the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end. Today, you two have chosen to exchange these rings as a sign of your love for each other and a seal of the promise you two have just made to each other. We ask that God bless these rings and this union of souls. Kurt, as you place this precious ring on Kelly's ring finger, repeat after me. 
Just as this ring. Just as this ring. Encircles your finger. Encircles your finger. So does my love. So does my love. Encircle your heart. Encircle your heart. May this ring forever. May this ring forever. Be a symbol. Be a symbol. Of my growing love for you. Of my growing love for you. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And Kelly, as you place that precious ring on Kurt's ring finger, repeat after me. Just as this ring. Just as this ring. Encircles your finger. Encircles your finger. So does my love. So does my love. Encircle your heart. Encircle your heart. May this ring forever. May this ring forever. Be a symbol. Be a symbol. Of my growing love for you. Of my growing love for you. With this ring. With this ring. I thee I thee wed. I thee wed. <laughs> holding hands for the rest of your life. <laughs> we have a reading on love. Nothing is sweeter than love. Nothing stronger, nothing higher, nothing wider, nothing more pleasant, nothing fuller or better in heaven or earth, for love is born of God. Love flies, runs, and leaps for joy. It is free and unrestrained. Love knows no limits, but ardently transcends all bounds. Love sees nothing as impossible, for it feels able to achieve all things. Love is not fickle or sentimental, nor is it intent on vanities. Like a living flame in a burning torch, it surges upward and surely surmounts every obstacle. Now as you two continue this journey together, I ask you just to remember this advice. The key to love is understanding. And you're looking at each other now. <laughs> the key to love is understanding, as it is the little things that say so much by themselves. The key to love is forgiving, to accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes quickly. The key to love is sharing, sharing your good fortunes as well as bad together. The key to love is giving, giving without thought of return, but with the hope of just a simple smile and by giving in, but never giving up. I have this challenge for you both. Kurt and Kelly, may your love never fade. May you never take each other for granted. And when you are old, may you be found still hand in hand, thanking God for each other. Never forget to treat each other with tenderness, kindness, and respect. And remember, remind yourselves often, of what drew you two together in the first place. Take a deep breath. Kurt and Kelly, you have consented together in holy matrimony before God, having pledged your vows to each other, and have exchanged rings as tokens of your love and commitment to each other. In accordance with the laws of the state of Michigan, with the authority of God's word, it's with great joy I now pronounce you husband and wife. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Kurt, you may now kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Poyanin. <laughs>